All right, guys. Just took my pre-work out. Today we're gonna go for my last primary day of the block for squat and bench. So we're gonna hit some crazy numbers. We're gonna hit some crazy PRs. It's gonna be a, an unusual day. Um, so let's go. So the big day, the big squat and bench primary day for both. So. Coming into this, uh, I had my last squat day at 226 kilos, my last primary day, which was a really, really good triple, already a PR there. So anything above 226 would be a PR actually, uh, which would, uh, would be pretty amazing. Um, but I wanted to get significantly more than that. One of my clients just did 250 kilos for the triple and he is younger than me. So uh, I really wanted to uh, make sure that I could still hang up uh, with those guys. Uh, but yeah. We uh, already already planned around 235 to 240, maybe even 242, 245 um, for the day. Uh, we ended up at 240, spoiler, um, which was a really, really good set. Um, but here we're coming into the warm-ups. I didn't even feel that good, actually. This 170, I didn't feel super great. Same with the 200 kills afterwards. Um, I had some like pretty significant ribcage discomfort. I'm not sure exactly what that is still. Um, but I have a really, really wonky, weird ribcage where it's like completely uh, asymmetrical compared to the other one. And that is creating some discomfort or like some pretty heavy discomfort in the squat right now. Um, but other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I still have the same newer technique where it's a little bit higher up on my back. And uh, I have my toes pointed out a little bit more forward instead of outwards. Um, which feels a lot better for my squad. So 200 kilos right here, last warm up. Uh, again, didn't feel amazing, but felt stable. Uh, so good enough for me to go all the way up to 225 kilos for my last warm up to try and gauge where we were gonna be for the top set day. Um, so already kind of matching the PR there in the last warm up, um, although it is a single, not a triple, so not really. Um, but this is pretty much last week's wait for the last warm up now to see where we are at. Um, and this one felt all right, didn't feel amazing. Uh, as you can see, it kind of moved really like slow and steady, if that makes sense. It wasn't super explosive. I think my first rip of 240 was about the same speed as this one right here. Um, but I knew that like, it wasn't an issue with strength. It was just like uh, maybe a little bit of the ribcage discomfort or whatever. But um, I knew it was it was all right here. Uh, it felt somewhat comfortable and that is unusual for me in a low bar squad. Um, so I decided to go all the way up to 240 kilos for my top set right here. I have myself up quite a bit uh, because this is a huge PR in the squad. So, as you, as you can see, really, really happy about that top set right there. And it still felt somewhat comfortable. I definitely had another rib in me. Um, so, I would say next block, we're definitely hitting even more if it's triples again. But even if it's doubles or singles or whatever it's going to be, uh, we're going to hit something crazy there uh, as well. So, really, really amazing. Uh, also, because I'm going to run the entire block with the same squat technique instead of only the last two weeks of the block. Um, so here for backoffs, we have 205 kilos for three sets of four. I have the first and last set right here. This is the last set. Um, it felt all right. Uh, the heaviest backoff I've ever done, um, but it's still like somewhat comfortable, as you can see. Uh, doesn't feel that comfortable, but it looks pretty easy on video. <laughs> um, now, warming up for the bench press, we have um, subset. Last week was 170 kilos, so I was aiming for 175 to 180 kilos. So with the last warm up here at 150 kilos, moved pretty good, moved like somewhat what I wanted to. Um, it was all right. So I decided to go for 170 kilos immediately here for my last warm up. And when I took that, I knew exactly what my strength was for the day. Uh, I was like not in doubt in any way. Um, so I knew that 177.5 was the right choice, that would have been the ideal choice, that is what I would do if it was in a competition. 
uh, or something like that. Um, so I went with 180. <laughs> uh, I knew 180 could be there. Um, I think there was like a 50% chance of it being there, maybe a little bit more. Um, I knew it, w it could be there for sure, um, but it was a risky choice. Uh, but it actually ended up being better than I expected. The first two reps were really, really easy. Um, and then the last rep, I heavily misgrooved it on the um, the pause itself. I lost tightness. I kind of let the bar rest on my chest uh, on in the third rep just a little bit. You can only see like a fraction of a second there. Um, but if you scroll back and see it, you can easily see that like just that tiny second of me letting the bar rest slightly more on my chest is like heavily, heavily affecting my bench press. Um, so that's why I really, really preach like making sure that when you're pausing the bench press, it is really good quality pauses instead. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going to bother you with too many not top set weights here. So I'm just going to have to wait for tomorrow or actually today in the post of this video where I'll be doing my primary deadlift day as well. So this day we have a double at uh, like the heaviest double I've ever done. Uh, last week I did 293. So we'll see where it's going to be at. I'm aiming for around 300 kilograms for a post double.